I feel like I haven't done like a car video in like forever so let's do one because I'm excited I finally got my car back so yay they fixed it it came out really good and I'm just really happy I feel like I have a brand new car I'm so happy thank god I have my car back because in LA you need a car it's crazy you like really do need a car because pub uh, public transport is like not it I don't know I hate it but um, I'm on my way to work it's kind of hectic um, as always but um, I wonder if I should like get in the highway or not we, but yeah um, I'm just very like uh, I just can't like I recently saw someone like get like rear-ended and like are people that broke that like you can't afford like insurance because the person that like rear-ended the dude like just ran off and i'm just like man like are people that like I, I don't know i feel like it's giving irresponsibility it's giving ghetto it's giving uneducated it's giving like what's going on you know like I just don't understand it, but I, I don't know. I feel like because the person who hit me did not have a license, did not have insurance, did not have anything. And I don't know. I feel like are, are people that like broke that they, they can't afford to. Uh, that I'm like, I feel like at that point, like, why are you even driving then? You know, I don't, I don't understand it. Like, you're a liability on the road. Like, you're literally, and then they drive so retarded. Like, I don't understand it. Like, I feel like I always say, like, you can tell what areas you're in by the way that people drive because the, I live like in a very like I, I live in a hood place, so like, it's very like bad. <laughs> so um, naturally, people drive like chaotic they drive recklessly like i don't understand it i really do not freaking understand it at all whatsoever and it's just crazy to me like i don't get it like literally like you can tell where you're from just simply by how you're driving on the road i feel and i don't know i feel i don't know that's what i say because like the woman who hit me was crazy she i don't know what the freak she was doing <sighs> But thank God I have good insurance and they paid for my things and I'm happy. They even like replaced the suspension on my car and I'm just like, whoa, like that's, they went all out. Like, I feel like that's why I feel like I say that I have a, a brand new car because it feels like new. I don't know. I'm happy. I'm happy with it. So yeah. Um. This, I shouldn't have gotten in the highway. It's freaking super slow here. Uh, I should have just went to the road. Uh, but anyways, I saw X-Men 97. And I will say that I really, really like it. I don't know. I really enjoyed it. Because we're getting out the highway. Because, no, I'm not doing this. But yeah, I saw X-Men 97. I think it's really good. Uh, I only saw the first episode. I haven't seen the second one. But I thought it was really good. I feel it's very nostalgic. Again, I feel it's very trendy now. The nostalgia factor or whatever. But um, I thought it was well made. Because it, it's really... It kind of, I don't know if it... Does it continue on with the original storyline that happened long ago? Not that I remember any of it. Because I was like a kid. But um, I thought it was very like well made. I love Storm. She was like, oh. her scene with when she made the freaking spoiler. If you haven't seen it, um, her scene when she made like the glass tornado. I was like, whoa, that's so good. But um, I don't know. I think I thought she had like one of the best scenes. And then like Gambit, like he's such like a little slut, <laughs> wearing the little crop tops and everything. Like oh my god, like was he made for like the gays because? He looks good for a cartoon character. I don't know, whatever, but um, um okay. But I don't know, I really enjoyed it. Um I also saw um what is it called? Late Night with the Devil, I think it's called. 
and I really enjoyed it. I, I feel like it, it's giving very like low budget, but at the same time, it was very well made. I feel they don't like overdo like the supernatural like exorcism things, so it was good. I don't know. I really enjoyed it. Um, should I do a fit check? I didn't even do a fit check for you guys. I'm wearing like this diesel sweater, and I'm wearing like diesel jeans. If you guys can see. I'm like, I'm not rushing to a job that I hate. I refuse to rush to a job that I hate. If I'm running late, I'm running late. I don't care. Like, if you want to fire me, go ahead. But I'm at the point where, like, I I know, like, that I'm a valuable asset to the team because I do a lot. And, I mean, like, they could fire me if they want. I really do not care because I feel like at a certain point they're doing me a favor because I need to... Leave already! I hate the place so bad. Like, I freaking hate this job. But, um, you know, I need the job to pay the bills, you know, and buy my diesel. But, um, oh god, I'm driving on Figueroa. If you guys know LA, Figueroa is crazy. That's where the girls are working. The girls are working. Oh my god. <laughs> if you know, you know, if you're from LA or Southern California. <laughs> Uh, the girls are working early in Fig. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I, I, girl, a girl's gotta work, I guess. I'm not even like... I'm just so happy to have my car back, you guys. And I'm happy they like did a really good job with it. I feel it's very smooth now. Like, I, w I was like eyeballing to like get a new car. But like, I feel like I don't even need a new car anymore because they did such a good job. Like, I the car is so smooth now like it literally feels like brand new I'm, I'm just very happy with it so I feel like in a sense you know like things happen for a reason you know because I knew I knew I needed a new suspension at some point in my car so I guess like something good came out of like the little fender bender I got in I mean I don't know I can't complain I feel like I'm, I feel very blessed and um I'll, I'll, I'll take it you know um feeling very happy with where I'm at in life like at least I'm, I'm not I, I know I want more because you know I feel like you need to have ambition but at the same time I feel content and happy with everything that's happened because I feel like it happened for a reason you know um but yeah do these glasses go with my outfit uh, I'm, I'm one to always carry multiple like sunglasses I feel like maybe these will go better because I'm wearing like beige and these are like brown I think I like these better. I think I'm gonna wear these better. You guys, should, are you guys interested in buying like loose row bags? I feel like I want to make a new one, but like, will you guys like support me? Like, help me out, you guys. Like, if I make it, will you guys like support me? Because I don't want to like waste my time and money and invest in something that you guys don't like. You know, like if I want to make it, like I want to make sure that you guys are gonna buy it. You know. <laughs> Because then why would I make it? I don't know. But I don't know. Do you guys like these car videos? Let me know if you guys like this type of video. I feel like it's a good, like, different, like, setting from, like, the room that I usually, like, record in. I, I will say, I bought some diesel jeans. I don't know when I'm gonna post this video because I kind of record, like, a few videos in advance. But I, I did buy some diesel jeans and hopefully they come on time because I want to show you guys. Like, I've really been into, like, vintage diesel hunting. And I feel like I found a lot in eBay. I like I got this shirt too. That's so so cool. I can't wait to show you guys. If I haven't shown you guys already when this film when this video comes out. But um I love it, I love it, I love it. Ew, that sounds like the Camila Cabello song. Ew. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Is that how it goes? I don't know. <laughs> that song sounds really bad. I don't know. I don't think it has it came out already. I have no idea, but I've heard like snippets of it. I don't know if she posted it, but um, it sounds bad to me. I don't know. I don't like it. Um, ready to work, make this money, and hopefully like invest and like maybe buy a home. I really want to get a home. I know it's like really hard right now, but um, I really want to get a home. I feel that's like my goal. Like I I wanted to buy a new car at some point, but um, I feel that can wait because I feel like my car is good. It's running well. It's like literally like brand new again. And I can invest that in something else, I feel. I need like act smart, you know. 
and I'm like literally buying like used diesel now. I'm not even buying new diesel anymore because it's so expensive and I refuse to pay like over $400 for a pair of jeans or freaking a hoodie for like 200 or like 300 400 dollars like that's insane to me like these prices are crazy and i'm only willing to buy it if it's on sale or if it's a special occasion i feel those are the only exceptions right now because i just can't do it anymore like that's way too expensive and yeah i can't do it <laughs> i love it but i don't love it that much you know <laughs> um so we will see but anyways i guess that's all for today's video you guys um i'm actually I, I moved quicker here in the street than on the highway which is funny but um let me know what you guys are interested in seeing next if you guys like these car videos i kind of want to do like a kind of a vlog series with you guys i feel like my my life isn't that eventful to like even make a vlog but i'll try it because i feel like i haven't done vlogs i feel like i've done it here and there but not like professionally i feel like there's an art of vlogging that I haven't like quite grasped yet, um, but I feel like it comes with practice, you know. So, I'll see you guys in the next video, and please like, comment, share the video. Let's grow the channel, you guys, and subscribe. <laughs> um, see you guys in the next one, and pray that I get to my job on time. I'm not tripping, but kind of tripping. <laughs> Um, okay, see you guys.